So the new Trump assassin just dropped and there's some spicy details already. Ryan Routh, very strange guy who's lived a very strange life. And this time, the internet was wise and archived all of his socials as much as possible before the FBI took it all down. So here's some basics on what we know about him and one really interesting rabbit hole about who he might be. Right off the bat though, it's super early. This is all speculative. Take your time, pump the brakes. We're just digging through dirty laundry. We don't know what sticks yet. But this guy is a private American citizen who traveled to Ukraine on his own dime, question mark, to help recruit civilian soldiers to fight for Ukraine and Afghan special forces he was like recruiting on his Facebook page. Here's an archive of all of his tweets that look pretty damn automated to me. They pretty much all look like this. In a past life in Hawaii, he apparently ran this company that made a single tiny home and a single Facebook page and never did anything else with it. Super weird. But I grabbed everyone that he followed on Twitter before they deleted it. He only followed 60. And right down at the bottom of that list, which I think indicates his first follow, is this girl named Sue Kim, who is ex-CIA, along with some other very interesting things. Now again, reminder, this is just speculation, digging through Twitter dirt. Maybe this chick is just a wonderful, patriotic person that's helping America. Who knows? But her account is private, meaning why does he follow her? I've been digging around and one of my followers said that they found her in the people that follow him back. Um, I have not been able to confirm that for myself because they took the account down. If you've got a video of the 1.2 thousand followers that followed him, that would be great to know. He says that she was at the bottom of his followed list, meaning that she followed him right when he made the account. That would make sense. Seeing as she's at the bottom of his following list of who he follows too. I mean, every asset needs a handler. And when you go through some of these other affiliations here, you get what is essentially the CIA training grounds at John Hopkins University. It explores the relationship between politics and the many kinds of military power from the use of terror by small non-state groups to the threatened use of nuclear weapons. Its director is John McLaughlin, who is literally an ex-acting director of the CIA and ex-deputy director of the CIA, three-decade career at the CIA. David is third on the list of people at the top of this institution at the university. 30-year career in Army Special Forces, various special operations invading various countries, as well as Operation Enduring Freedom. You get the idea. Anyways, Rand Corporation. That's a military industrial complex think tank, kind of like the Atlantic Council. And LMI Org. Yeah, that's like a military industrial complex education and training program as well. Preliminary findings on the internet when you search our homeboy, the shooter, um, show his arrest record, including in 2002, possession of weapons of mass destruction, class F felony along with three other blocks of things like possession of handguns or concealed weapons and driver's license stuff. And yeah, that sounds like some operative shit to me. But again, we don't know any of this yet. We're just digging through dirty laundry on the internet. It's hard to tell what's real, but this is a photo of the weapon he used and the setup he had. People are speculating it looks an awful lot like, you know, Russian Ukrainian class of rifle. He's doing these weird recruitment ops in Ukraine for civilians. Well, he's like posting on his Facebook all the time to like no followers about how he's recruiting hundreds of civilians to fight for Ukraine. Like posting for like Afghan special forces to contact him so they can come fight in Ukraine. But he's like just a random citizen from Hawaii. And one of the 60 people he follows is this CIA gal that allegedly follows him back. That looks an awful lot like a handler or a contact. His account looks an awful lot like a bot or an MK Ultra or a Pato. Who knows what the hell this is? His criminal record looks an awful lot like what you might expect a kind of guy in this kind of line of work to leave behind. And then there's the weird video evidence getting turned up. Well, officials in Kiev simply aren't interested in recruiting them. Ukraine is reluctant to be cooperative. That's Ryan Roof, a U.S. citizen who set up the International Volunteer Center in Ukraine to help connect foreigners to Ukrainian military units. Now I'm talking to over 100 soldiers every day, and pretty much everybody, every, all of my contacts in Ukraine, they were adamant that 
pretty much yelled at me every time that I suggested that we bring in Afghan. The Ukrainian government didn't respond to our request for comment. But a source close to the officials in Kiev told Semaphore that their top concern is the question of loyalty in the thick fog of war. The biggest thing is spies. They're afraid that anybody and everybody is a Russian spy. Shout out to some bitch I know on X, um, who currently has one of the best archives of all of his socials and accounts. There's a lot of other people doing good work right now. And again, I just want to clarify, I'm not trying to pretend like I've solved the case or like we know what's going on. We just have learned by now that the FBI is going to just cover everything up. And so it's up to us to try to dig everything out before they do. So that's what we're doing. And yes, it's ridiculous that that is even a set of sentences we have to say in America in 2024 when someone tries to kill the former and future president of the United States of America. And I mean, I can only imagine who might be backing up these operations to try to shoot him and who might be providing the intel and the access and the cover-ups, etc. So last thing I'll say, Ryan Routh, he's currently in custody. He was driving away in an SUV. They caught him. He's, he's alive for now. And I just want to remind us all, Ryan Routh did not kill himself. If cameras malfunction outside of his cell, if he has a weird slipping accident, whatever happens... Yeah, you know the story. 50 more days, my money's on at least one more attempt before we get there. So stay frosty because the war machine desperately needs the wars to escalate and they're not down with the Maga Maha folks shutting down the wars and they are ready to kill people, ready to assassinate, allegedly, apparently, theoretically, just jokingly, in order to perpetuate those wars.